بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم مجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم My topic today is about uh, widening of the paratracheal stripes and it is important in diagnosis of middle mediastinal masses with uh, some examples paratracheal stripes we have two stripes one on the right side one on the left side the right paratracheal stripe is a region of, of contact between the right lung and the right tracheal wall with intervening mediastinal fat. Probably the most commonly seen mediastinal stripe and it is less than four millimeter and it is abnormal in tracheal or pleural abnormalities see of lymphadenopathies, thyroid, parathyroid, and other pathology. Here we see pH stick ray we see the right paratracheal stripe as thin uh, line between the trachea and the intervening lung tissue and a very thin line and should be this down four millimeter and here we see the normal baroutic line. Here another patient with a right paratracheal stripe normal and this is the corresponding CT scan this is the right paratracheal stripe and here you see the superior vena cava. And here we see the tracheoazygous uh, angle, or tracheobronchial angle, uh, where is the azygous vein in that area. As we see here, this is the azygous vein at the tracheal bronchial angle, and this is disturbed the right paratracheal stripe at that region. Here, patient with abnormal right paratracheal stripe, we see mass lesion on the right paratracheal region with widening of the paratracheal stripe and uh, differential diagnosis will include also lymphadenopathy and it is there is some compression on the right side of the trachea and CT of this patient shows that the uh, mass lesion on the right paratracheal region with widening of the right paratracheal stripe and uh, this is paratracheal lymphadenopathy. Here another patient with the widening of the right paratracheal stripe with mass lesion on this uh, CT and MRI on the ma on the CT scan we see mass lesion non enhancement with uh, some cystic area and on the T1 and T2 in this patient, it is uh, cystic area and some enhancement on the after contrast on the MRI and the uh, mass above to be schwannoma in the middle mediastinum with cystic degeneration. Here, this is another mass lesion in the right paratracheal region with widening of the right paratracheal stripe. The mass is relatively high 
dense in this axial CT scan with no significant enhancement. And the mass shows also calcification here in its inferior part. And this, it is a bronchogenic cyst. Left paratracheal stripe, it is extend superiorly from the aortic arch to join with the reflection from the left subclavian artery and thus may be referred as the left paratracheal reflection. As we see here, this is the aortic arch and we see the left paratracheal stripe and this in this sketch the black one is the left paratracheal stripe. And this is uh, abnormal appearing left paratracheal stripe in patient with metastatic thyroid carcinoma. As we see here, widening of the left paratracheal stripe in this area, and we see that mass lesion on the left paratracheal region. And also the right side uh, baratracheal stripe is also widening, and we see it is some widening of the right baratracheal stripe in this patient with thyroid metastasis. And these are representing uh, subarachnovicular adenopathy. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.